Lena. Lena, are you there? Kyle, you're breaking up. Any luck with finding the immunity truck? Listen, there's a hidden tunnel. I think it opens up in southern Old Town. There'll be a girl passing through it soon. Could you ask Troy to keep a lookout for her? Crane, that's not my... Crane, we believe a plane may have crash-landed somewhere near here. Yeah, I watched it go down. It's worth checking for survivors. It could be someone from outside the quarantine.
What the? Did you hear there's a goddamn volatile hive under this hut? Half of Sabat's stuff ended up down in a cave. I'll check it for those herbs you wanted, but I doubt he's still alive. Our search and death. Wait, I think I heard something. This is what you needed, right? It is. This will help a lot. I'm sorry about your friend. Thank you. Don't worry. At least we know what happened to him. And it's no shame to die that way.
Anybody home? Come to kill me? Fine. Go ahead. My name's Kyle Crane. The mother's worried about you, Attila. She sent me to check on you. Make sure you're okay. I am most certainly not okay. You can tell her that there will be no book. I've hit a wall. I'm just a dying old man, not Indiana Jones. Dying? Did, did you ask the mother for help? She doesn't have the cure for cancer, I'm afraid. My days of field work are over. The problem is, and I'll quote Hamlet here, everything is fucked up. Come, sit. Have a drink with me, Mr. Crane. Listen, if it's the field work that's stopping you, just... I can go out and get whatever you need. I don't know what you're researching, but the mother really wants it finished. Hmm. You'll bring me anything I need, you say? Yeah, sure. Just make a list. It would certainly help if my electricity were restored. If I'm going to do this, I'll be looking at some very long nights. Well, I can take care of the power, but you're on your own for coffee.
Get your electricity back, Attila, and now what? Now we can get to work, Mr. Crane. I'm researching traces of the prophecy about the God of the Sun in the relics of local culture. It seems like a matter of life and death to the Mother, and I'm in no position to ask why. So, now we have three ancient monoliths to investigate. We're looking for specific features, so you'll need to see them in person and describe each one to me. Now that I have the power back on, we can stay in touch while you're out there. But please hurry, Mr. Crane. I won't live forever. a monolith, Attila. Describe it, please. There's a painting, looks old. It's got ants moving toward a circle, and one inside the circle has a red head. No, no, Kyle! Kyle, are you there? Eski? Damn, I can barely hear you. But listen, I made it. I found Troy. Thank you, Kyle. She told me about the... Eski? Eski? Ask you, damn it. Jazeera, I have some good news. Good news? That'd be nice for a change. Eski's alive. She's on her way to the tower. Safest place in Haran. She's with my friends. Really? Praise the mother, Kyle. Praise her name. Can anyone hear me? Is anybody there? Help! We're trapped. We're in a house near the river. Stucky, I have my two kids with me. Please! Anybody there? Please! Help us! I'm stuck in this place with my two kids. We won't survive on our own. We're in danger, please! Help us! Anyone! Attila, I found one of those monoliths. What do you see? A big ass stone, that's what. And also an old painting. It's, it's a sun on top of a mountain, a mountain crossed with a zigzag. Anything else? Yeah, someone added a mere heart's jasmine on the side. Does that help? All right, Mr. Crane, let's move on. supposed to be here, it either evaporated or something pushed it into the water. Attila got a monolith. And? It's underwater, but I could see the remains of a painting. There was, like, a head, I think. Could it have been a mask? Yeah, maybe. Good work, Mr. Crane.
Attila, I'm at the mountain. What do you see? Just a whole lot of climbing. I did warn you. One wrong move and I'm a dead man. But do you see anything? Later, man, seriously. <clears throat> All right, there's a painting. It's a person with a sun for a head and there's a woman standing nearby. Very good, Mr. Crane, but that's not what we're looking for. Please keep going. Okay, I'm at the top. It's an awesome view. Let's get to work then, Mr. Crane. <laughs> There's a painting of a bloody blade on one of the monoliths. Anything else? A mask, perhaps? No, sh should I be looking for a mask? With the utmost diligence, Mr. Crane. This is very important. I found this hole with, I don't know, I guess there are offerings inside it. And there's a mask in here, too. Is it red? If it's red, take it with you. Be careful with it. Yeah, it's red. Should I take anything else? There's a lot of stuff in here. No, no, that should be enough. I think you can come back now, Mr. Crane. your mask, Attila. I don't know if it's gonna help with anything. Listen, the mother's obsessed with this prophecy. When the world is ravaged by plague, when darkness devours the earth, when men are as beasts to one another, when humanity shall be struck by corruption of both flesh and soul, then shall be revealed one man who, through an act of ultimate sacrifice, shall accept the mercy of the light and the God of the Sun shall be revealed through him, and through him will he speak, and his voice shall be the light and the healing. And he shall pass through the gates of death, so that he may bring new life. On every remaining painting, the God of the Sun, or a priest attempting to summon him, wears a mask like that one. So, yes, Mr. Crane, I believe you've helped me plenty. You need anything else? Only time and peace. I have to write everything down. I'll let the Acolytes know that you've helped me. Thank you, Mr. Crane. I'll call you the moment I'm done. Well, see you tomorrow, then. You promise? All right. I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> 